Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to connect one of these uh, infrared motion sensors. This one is the Eurolux model C0149. Um, this is a 220-240 volt one. This is the one that we use in our country. It's primarily used to switch on lights, outside lights. Anyone moves across in front of it, it's going to switch on the lights. It's good for security and also when you just generally come home and you want to see where you're going. It's uh, nice to have. Okay, let me open it up and we'll show you how to connect it. You've got three wires in here. The one is for the live wire coming in and the neutral just to power the, the infrared system itself. And the one is the return to the, to the light itself. So you're going to put on live and neutral and then the return going to your lights. You can have more than one light uh, on these and you can also have more than one infrared sensor. Maybe I'll make a video on how to get to connect more than one sensor but uh, yeah let me show you quickly how to connect this I'm just going to be using one of these normal uh, LED downlights just as demonstration to see you it doesn't really matter which one is uh, live and neutral on here so let me just connect this and I'll show you okay you can see what I did here is just connect the live wire to the to the live so the brown wire and the brown wire and then the neutral wire and then also what I did was I just bridge the neutral to the light as well to the same neutral connection and then I just put the return wire on the red one to the light let's switch it on and see if it works so if I move in front of the sensor the light should turn on and uh, yeah it should turn off after a few seconds there are three settings on the bottom that I'll show you just now you can adjust the time just switch it off Underneath here you see three settings, three dials you can, you can uh, turn. The one is sensitivity. Now uh, you can either turn it on, uh, full up or full down. The reason I think they added the sensitivity is because if there's some trees in front of the sensor that's blowing in the wind, it might switch the sensor on. So then what you'll do is just turn it down a bit uh, so that you don't have the sensitivity all the way up. I always switch it all the way up until I get to some problems with, with unwanted... Uh, well, with the lights going on and off when I don't want them to. Second one is time. For testing purposes, I'll switch the time all the way to, to zero. It's going to give you a few seconds just to test whether it goes on and off. And uh, these switches are all relative. So it, when you switch it to the middle, it's not going to be one minute or two minutes or three minutes. Um, you might have one that's going to be in uh, two minutes there, or you might have one that's going to have three minutes. So it's trial and error. It's, I usually turn it to the center and just see how long it takes to switch off and then the last one is the lux that's either you want it to switch on in the daytime as well as the nighttime or just at the nighttime I always turn mine to the to the light uh, or to the darkness I don't want the light shining in the daytime as well but there might be some applications where you want the light to switch on even if it is daytime or you're going to want to switch something else on not necessarily a light you can use this setting as well yeah so that's it for the uh, infrared motion sensor